You know, Geeta, if I could bring you in on this as well, is this the shortest term ever by UK Prime Minister? 45 well, days? Well, that's what we've been told. 45 days is the shortest that a, uh, that a British Prime Minister has ever served in office. Uh, it certainly is a short stint and uh, not to make light of it, but I suppose Akshita Daily Mail got it right when they, when they put a lettuce uh, and compared it with uh, a photograph of Liz Truss saying, let's see which is going to go first. Uh, and it seems like it's the lettuce that is won. Uh, this this uh, this round, uh, Liz Truss has certainly uh, uh, resigned and has lost the confidence of the members of uh, Parliament. It is also important over here, uh, Akshita, to note what Lavina was saying. Lavina made a very important point when she said that Liz Truss did not have the confidence of the MPs but of the whole uh, Conservative Party membership. That's where she had gained in numbers and Rishi Sunak was the popular choice when it comes to the MPs. Uh, and, uh, and a government is not run by the entire membership of a party but is run by the conf uh, keeping in confidence the uh, members of parliament. And over here, Liz Truss certainly did not enjoy that confidence from the MPs within the parliament. That certainly is a very significant one because in the, in the, in the next round when you see uh, uh, the conservatives elect a leader, they might want to look at who the MPs are also, uh, who the MPs choice also is. It cannot be as different and uh, divergent as was the case when it, when it was a fight yeah. between Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak. So again, they'll be going back, but like uh, Lavina said, uh, May is when the elections are going to take place. They have time only to maybe show some sort of, some semblance of not just sanity, but togetherness and unity in finding a leader who could lead the Conservatives to the next general election. Uh, unless and until that happens, it is going to be a very difficult time. But also let me mm -hmm. add over here, anybody who takes on as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom at this point in time, at this juncture, it is going to be a Herculean task. It was a Herculean task yeah, for true. Boris Johnson. It was a tall ask for Liz Truss uh, to really get the economy right. And it is going to be a very, very tall ask for anybody who takes over after Liz Truss to really get the economy in order. It is not going to happen in a day. People can condemn and criticize economic policies of any leader. But it, the fact of the matter is that there is a huge rehaul that's required. It's, it's, it's a tough job. You're right in saying it's a tough job. But from the get-go, Liz Truss got it wrong with, you know, the kind of the mini budget that she brought in, the fact that she cut off the top rates for the wealthiest, all of that was heavily criticized. It clearly had a bearing on the economy as well. For Rishi Sunak, Lavina, this is a big I told you so moment because all along through this race to become the UK Prime Minister, when it was Sunak versus Truss, in almost every debate he said that, hey, you're getting it wrong when you talk about this kind of a mini budget, when you talk about the economic reforms that you plan to bring on. He not only had it now, he had it from the very day that she took on. Uh, took on. Uh, yeah. It must be a week in and he had his I told you so moment. But will this I told you so moment lead him to be uh, get the top job that he so wanted? There is also one another very strong point that he has a very strong economic background, a business background. But what he doesn't have, uh, because he was helicoptered into the job, he doesn't have uh, the the groundwork that goes into making a politician. But having said all of that, uh, he does stand a good chance. We would need to see who will put forth their name. Jeremy Hunt has already said that he's not going to put his name forth, a name forth for the candidate. So at the, at the moment as it stands, they have still to follow the same kind of uh, routine of uh, MPs putting forth their name, then MPs choosing, unless a general election is called. So um, it is important to see what Rishi will do now. He does uh, have the moment where uh, I told you so moment. And the fact that he was uh, Brutus to Boris, that is slightly at the back burner at the moment. Also, what is uh, slightly at the back burner or may or may not be is his wealth. So it remains to be seen what he does with this I told you so moment because that actually definitely is on his side at the moment.